What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC series regulation... What, what do we call it, Michael? Regulation 3 Series C, I've heard it all. Yeah, like, we keep calling it Series 3. Like it's until Regulation D comes out, we won't be calling them Regulation anything. This is the odd one out. Point is, we're going to talk about the uh, new Ruin Pokemon that are going to be legal in like a week or two here uh, and some common Pokemon you'll see next to them. So yeah, uh, Michael's here. Actually, Michael, plug your thing at the top of the video so you can just go ahead and get that get that in there. But, but, but hello, I'm the channel artist here, so anything that you've seen with your eyeballs, I've probably made it. Um, and I'm looking for jobs right now, so peep my Twitter, thing in the thing, in the thing link down there. First tweet you'll see. If you need I, a logo, hit me up. I could not recommend Michael Moore. Dude has literally increased my impressions by like double. So, all right. But yeah, let's uh, let's get let's get into this. If you guys enjoy the standpoint time, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, let's just talk about these uh, ruined Pokemon. All right, so... Starting Ruin off with Nation. Ruin Nation. Welcome to the Ruin Nation. Welcome back, Ruin Nation. Yeah, welcome back, Ruin Nation. <laughs> Dude, all right, all right. The year is 2027. We're in generation uh, 10. And then there's like this new kid on the block, PokeTuber. We reverted to like 2013 PokeTubing where you go, what's up? Welcome back, Ruin Nation. And his like mascots, Chiyu. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Today's Let's yeah. Play. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so... So Ting Lu is like sort of the odd one out with the Ruin Pokemon. The other Ruin Pokemon have like objective, very good partners that you can just call right off the bat. Uh, yeah. Where Ting Lu is basically an assault vest for everyone. <laughs> so yeah. it's it's kind of weird, right? You, he lowers everyone's special attack stat and barring like Golden Go on our recommendations, um, everyone here is either going to enable Ting Lu or Ting Lu does not lower like the stat that they care about. Uh, we'll get into why Golden Ghost probably saw next to it uh, in a second. But yeah, so Ting Lu, 155 HP, 110 attack, 125 defense, 55 special attack, 80 special defense, 45 speed. It's slow, and it wants, like, Trick Room partners, so we'll, like, throw those right at the beginning. Gothitel is, like, just absurdly <laughs> solid in a format with Ruin Pokemon, because even though it becomes, like, less bulky versus a few... Um, if you're running it with the defensive ruin Pokemon, Gothitelle becomes the most painful thing to play against because you just lock them in with these guys and it's just, you trick room, you're like set. So, I don't know. Yeah, with with the rise of stuff like Glamora too, if you catch uh, Glamora lead with Gothitelle Tinglu, it's like they're just crying. They can't do damage into you. So. Yeah, and like Gothitelle also has access to like Heal Pulse, which we actually did see win original. Like Heal Pulse, Gothitelle's legit, right? Next to like Tinglu, you can do the stupid you can do the stupid, right? Yeah, I mean, I've even seen something weird like Sand Doom just for like chip damage. Yeah, it's weird, but I, it's like Ting it's Ting has to run weird stuff. It's it's got yeah. to. I mean, you have like there are two routes, right? It's like the Fissure, Stomping Tan, Stomping Tantrum, uh, Heavy Slam, Filler Move. I like Throat Chop, uh, offensive set, or like the uber defensive like leftovers. I'm gonna like sit in and Sand Tomb you. I'm my own Paris Trap Enabler, like a weird yeah. set. So Gothitelle yeah. just Ru like vibes at that hard. Stuff with Ruination, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's the reason why Annihilate is there, right? Is because King, number one guy of I want to sit on the field forever, just take hits and do massive damage back is Annihilate, right? <laughs> so we've seen it with Mousehold. Ting Lu is just Mousehold, but again, but for special, right? Like yeah. once the Mousehold goes down, you get more special defense. <laughs> yeah, and I mean like defensively, they're both weak to like fairy types, but also keep in mind, Annihilate's either Terra Steel or Terra Fire every time, and Ting yeah, Lu's Ting either like Terra Poison or Terra Poison. Sometimes yeah. Terra Grass, but it's like really rare. Uh, and also, you know, Annihilate, it it bulks up, right? It's a fat Pokemon. It is the sort of Pokemon that doesn't even like invest in its attack stat a lot. Like you'll see like Annihilate's with like this sort of spread, um, you know, like something stupid like that, right? And they'll run like leftovers and like just set up on you with like mouse hold, right? If your mouse hold goes down and you're stuck with like a Nihilate on the field, if you have a Ting Lu in the back, that's not the worst thing ever. You're not gonna like drop to, uh, what's it called? Terror, not Terror Blast, Moon Blast from like, um, Fluttermane anymore. Heat waves from Chiyu, that kind of thing. Yeah, like these um, things are like stuff that like a Nihilate has to deal with once mouse hold goes down because it has to face the reality of the fact that, yeah, it has like a good special defense stat, but it's not boosted all the way up with like bulk up. So Tinglu just fills that void. 
Yeah, it allows you to run more stuff like attack or speed in yeah. Annihilate slot if you want to as well. And that's why Sarah Ledge is on this list as well, because it's the same kind of, I am ghost type, I bulk up, I sit here for a while, and you can even get HP back with stuff like Bitter Blade. Yeah, and I was Sarah trying to think of the name of the move. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Sarah Ledge's only stat that it's not really covering with a bulk up set is that special defense. And like, it's already good. A base 100 uh, spadef is cool, but with that added bonus to it right like we've seen a lot of terra grass Sarah Ledge, but that can still get popped by like iron bundle freeze drive but all of a sudden when you're next to ting lu no you're not you're beating bundles 1v1 you're beating goldengo's 1v1 you're beating a whole lot wait uh, michael i know that we like discussed this right before the video started but i hate Sarah Ledge, and now i'm just like why did we like advertise this what, what do you mean i think it's great i hate with I, I no i mean i hate Sarah Ledge ting lu as a concept now that i realize it like beats bundle Oh, are you, are you scared that we leaked too much sauce? Is yeah, that... no, I mean, like, think about it. Think about it on a conceptual level, right? Sarah Ledge is never going to get Hydro Pump clicked against it because the bundle knows it's about to tear a grass. They're always going to freeze dry into it. Freeze dry is like, what, 70 base power? Mm -hmm. Ting Lu on the field? Like, you're going to recover. Uh -huh. You're not dropping. It doesn't drop. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Sarah Ledge took off for that reason towards the end of Series 2, right? So, like, yeah. it makes more sense for it to do the same thing at the end of Series 3. I don't even know how so, they would, How do they even build this thing? What do you do? Like, just... Ah. Uh, <laughs> keep it fuck. I don't know, but a lot of HP. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. All right, but yeah, no. Sarah Ledge, solid combo. And in DD, like, it's sort of for the same reason as, like, Ting Lu. Um, or Ting Lu, like, Gothitelle. It's just, like, a Trick Room on. Uh, but it also has access to, like, Follow Me and, like, these tools that you would really want. Um trigger room and then like a filler move sometimes dazzling gleam i like psychic still I, i'm kind of lame i still like psychic uh yeah. but yeah it's mostly just like an enabler for ting lu to be able to do stuff under trick room like it yeah. it's it's a weird pokemon with ting lu we had to make a lot of stretches um and like the only like real three that we think are like actually like the de the definitive ting lu partners are these guys but indeed is like acceptable and golden go is like it's not mouse hold but it works <laughs> Yeah, it's the same concept as Annihilate. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, even though you're lowering like the special defense stat, like or the special attack set, like you can still, you can still nasty plot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how many people are running like super bulky Golden Goes, right? Yeah, like everyone. I, Golden Go also works for Wo Chien, which is the next guy, which I think yeah. you should go to. Like if you want to swap out anything for Wo Chien, Azumarill and Fluttermane are like the same concept here, so just assume one of those is actually Golden Go. Um, but yeah, Wo Chien. It's weird. It's like worse defensively typing wise than uh, Ting Lu, but functionally is so much better because of a few things. It has a uh, physical defense boost, a sky high special defense stat. Well, not physical defense boost, but it drops everyone's attack stat, right? Um, a sky high special defense, a really good HP, already like good defense. If I remember, I forget what the actual number is. They like calc it at the beginning of the gen, but like. The defense becomes effectively just a little bit higher than the special defense with Tablets of Ruin active. Um, I think it's but, like 137 or something. Yeah, but like the only real like move set you really see on Wo Chen is like leftovers. Sometimes you'll see Citrus. I don't think that's good though. Um, you'll see like leftovers, Leech Seed, and then whatever moves you need to fill the two things. I like knockoff. Sometimes people will run foul play. Uh, like you always basically have a dark move. And then like your last move is almost always Palm Puff. Like, that is yeah. just an absurd... Palm Puff is what move. makes Wo Chien so good on this style. Because yeah. Because Wo Chien, next to something like Arcanine, right, next to something that is, like, bulky but still takes hits throughout the course of a game, that's what Palm Puff is for to keep it yeah. alive. Wo Chien plus Arcanine hard beats every Don Dozo team. Like, I've not seen a single Don Dozo. Yeah, you, you land a Will-O-Wisp after an Intimidate, and then you, like, Leech Seed stall them. Like, Terra Grass Don Dozo might pick up a little bit to not lose to Wo Chen, but even then, they're still gonna have to take like pollen they're taking pollen buff damage. Yeah, like yeah. tablets of ruin intimidate Will O Wisp. Your physical attacks are doing five percent maximum. Like it's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, and like Terra Fairy is also a really good defensive Terra type for um, Wo Chen. We, it, you can sort of like get the justification from the fact that we saw. Um, I think it was like Ashton Cox's um, group bonded at Orlando was actually running Terra Fairy. Same typing, like defensively, it covers a lot of things. You're not weak to fighting types anymore. You take like neutral from everything. You're no longer able to be boosted on by Don Dozo. So like just, this is a hard Don Dozo answer. I don't think I've ever lost to Dozo with a Wo Chen on the team. So yeah. like, it's just with, solid. With Terra Fairy, it's like, are you gonna get hit with a poison type anyway? The answer used to be no, but now there's one specific poison type that's picking up on a lot of usage right now, and that's Glamora, which is also, a good Wo Chien partner. It, the Toxic Spice 
it's i mean if wo chan's gonna slow the battle down to a crawl you can still get a lot of mileage out of the game like and getting damage per turn in something like mortal spin and toxic debris so yeah and you can just sit on the field right like think about like the pokemon that like typically beats glamora it's not really iron bundle as much because a lot of them do run like av right so if you want to run like assault vest glamora with like a decent amount of like physical defense on it you can do like spiky shield mortal spin sludge bomb earth power stuff um, and as long as Wo Chen's in the field next to it, you should be able to mortal spin on a Palafin and then they're just kind of stuck. Because Palafin, it sometimes runs leftovers, but leftovers isn't going to save it from like just the consistent damage output of like a leech seed and a poison. Like Wo Chen, I think, is going to be the face of stall. <laughs> like no, it's, it's just an sure. absurd stall mod. It feels like Celesteela, but actually grass type. Yeah, like Lamora can afford to just like be on lead and intentionally die, drop its Legos everywhere, and then like Wo Chen in the back anchors it down. Yeah, with all the toxic debris up. Like, <laughs> no, like I, I think Lamora Wo Chen is like one of the most solid cores in the in the format at the moment. Um, and also just defensively, weak to ground moves. Yum yum, yummy ground moves. Mm, dirt mud, you know. Um, yeah. got the tell. Same concept as like Ting Lu. It's a trick room on, but also like. The way that you get rid of Leech Seed is either your Glamora and you Mortal Spin, or you switch. Gothitelle just says, nope, nope, you're staying in on the field. Uh, and while Gothitelle is usually like the heal pulse user, now it's Wo Chen. So your Goth just like never goes down with like Fake Out, Protect, Trick Room, and like Psychic. Yeah, and you could you could even I oh my god this is disgusting. But if you're heal pulse on this Gothitelle as well, you can <laughs> just heal each other. <laughs> Pollen puff the Gothitelle, heal pulse of Wo Chen. You aren't yeah. doing damage. <laughs> yeah, and let's say that like you don't end up tearing your, your uh, Wo Chen. Like Gothitelle doesn't have like the lowest special attack set, and you tend to run at least like four special attack in like your Gothitelle if you have like any speed in it because you're just kind of forced to. Uh, mm -hmm. So like being able to hit like Iron Hands with Psychic still does a decent amount. And then you just like leech seed stall it and you just wall it out anyways. Because Iron Hands has to set up on Wo Chen to KO it. It just doesn't do it otherwise. Yeah. All right. Azumarill um, and, Azumarill and uh, Flutterman here are on this as well. Just to say Parish Song. They're the same thing. They're Parish, Parish Song. Song. Yeah. This is Wo Chen with Parish Song. Same kind of thing as the Glamora Toxic Spikes. Like it, it's Wo Chen's best thing is that it controls the pace of the battle. And yeah. so if you're controlling the pace of the battle to three turns from now, you're dead. Yeah, it could do that. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's just very basic and just defensively. I don't like fire types. Mmm, fire types. Yum, burnt marshmallows, you know? Yeah. All right. Uh, next so those one. Those are the stall guys. Those are the stall. Somehow VGC has become stall and, and singles has become incredibly hyper offense. So go figure. It's kind hilarious. Of said, yeah. But doesn't mean we don't have our fair share of insane offense in Chin Pao. You want to talk about this what he does? This is disgusting, this guy. Yeah. I hate this thing. This of the three of the four ruins, this is my least favorite to use, but only because it's like it feels like it plays dirty with sort of ruin. Dropping everything's defense on the field allows you to spam priority moves with Dragonite's extreme speed, Palafin Heroes, Jet Punch, Scizor's bullet punch, mm -hmm. Mimikyu's shadow sneak. And you know what's <laughs> funny about all of it? In DD Armor Rouge on paper should be able to deal with this guy, but literally all you do is run Focus Sash and Ice Spinner on the turn that they go for Trick Room, and then your Dragonite can still click moves, and so can your Chen Pao. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, because like, you remove the terrain. Or dark move too is just killer. Yeah. There's a set that I was running in a video that actually went kind of hard. It was like Substitute um, Life... Not Life Orb, what was it? I forget what my item actually was. I think it was Clear Amulet. It was like Substitute Clear Amulet, like Swords Dance stuff. And that was kind of nasty, because, like, Shen Pao is the sort of mon that makes its own pressure, where it's like, okay, well, I have to protect on Shen Pao, or I have to, like, fake out the Chen Pao. That's also where, like, almost every Shen Pao is Terra Ghost, because if you're running, like, Inner Focus Dragonite plus Terra Ghost Shen Pao, if you lead wrong, you just stop breathing. You're just done, you know? Yeah, literally. Palafin, same concept. It's just a priority move machine. Jet Punch. Um, it's a little bit more setup, re like, required, because you have to switch out and stuff. But also, just defensively, you're already going to want to run, like, Rain next to your Palafin in a lot of situations. You don't have to with, like, Chen Pao, but, like, if you want to run, like, Pelipper, now your Chen Pao is no longer going to get, like, KO'd by Flare Blitz, you know? Yeah, yeah. When people eventually start to go, uh, start, put Chen, start putting Chen Pao on more, like, balancey stuff, like, at the beginning of um, Series 2, people were running Palafin on, like, super hyper-offensive teams, uh, but then it started picking up more on, like, Arcanine Amoongus-type stuff. I yeah. could see, like, Chen Pao, Fire-type, Grass-type, Palafin becoming a thing. So it'll be played more like that eventually. Mm -hmm. But for right now, it's 
priority guys like this like scissor <laughs> yeah scissor here is just like a meta game call uh roaring moon is a little bit of a prediction it's usually like terra flying and like booster energy tailwind stuff sometimes dragon dance with chen pao obviously you're speed tying with flutter main which isn't great um actually a lot of things speed tie with flutter main this gen it really sucks so being able to have a pokemon that could like tailwind next to it and you like guarantee survive a hit this guy's got a good special defense stat you terra flying tailwind Next turn, you just KO stuff. It's just solid. And also, Roaring Moon, like, if this thing gets intimidated, it feels like it doesn't do anything without setup. At the very least, Chen Pao enables it a little bit more. So, like, yeah. Acrobatics can actually KO something for once. Yeah, and it gets more mileage out of its booster energy. Plus, it's not using its defense stat anyway, so it doesn't care next to being next to Chen Pao. Yeah. And here we have Mimikyu. Life Orb Mimikyu, staple. Like, just a staple. Hi, right? Hi, Neil. Are you watching the video? Hi, Neil. Um... <laughs> So this dude is obviously just very solid for a few options. You hit things with Shadow Sneak if you really want to. You hit things with Play Rough if you really want to. But the real value it brings is it like patches the Dondozo matchup for Chen Pao because Dondozo is a little bit rough for it if you're not running like Sacred Sword and they're already at like half health. So being yeah, able to just click Curse. Even then, Sacred Sword doesn't even do more than like 48 max. So yeah. yeah. And you just have the Trick Room option too. Like yeah. you have, you have a scissor. Roaring thing, Moon. Right? Same concept as Roaring Moon too of like it it doesn't need to care about its defense getting lowered because disguise makes it take the hit anyway so yeah so those are the guys uh mimic was a little bit of a stretch i think the rest are pretty solid um last one all of these have at least one stretch the more i think about it except for like wo chen because that one's so developed that oh we need to talk about garganical on wo chen dude garganical honestly can fit on most of these i think is yeah the coolest part before anyone comments down below if you already commented like why didn't you talk about garganical it's like the ultimate stall bond I hate you. Uh, yeah, it's on it, all of them. That's why. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> all right. Uh, Chi Yu. This is the uh, the other one. The other My hyper favorite. offense. My favorite. I know I hate uh, the cat, the the Chim Pao, but I love this one. I don't care. <laughs> if you haven't faced this, you haven't played the game. Like you, I I believe you have never installed Pokemon Violet or Scarlet on any device or opened up Pokemon Showdown. At the first uh, Chicago local that was Series Three, everyone in Top Cut was Chi Yu Flurman. <laughs> Because like it's everyone. so solid. All right. It's so good. <laughs> you want to you wanna scarf your Chi Yu? Go for it. You want to specs your Chi Yu? Go for it. You're just hitting things. Uh, you you, you want to life orb your Flutter Man? You want to specs your Flutter Man? Yeah. Just doesn't matter. As long as you're Terra Fairy, you're gaming. <laughs> you get so much free reign over what you want to do with Chi Yu. It's crazy. Like, I've seen leftovers. I've seen safety goggles, scarf, life orb, specs. You can do anything with Chi Yu, it feels yeah. like. And next to Flutter Man, the same thing with the items, right? Like, you get to tailor how you want to make it. Um, and Fluttermane Gothitelle's down there, down the line, but Chiyu Fluttermane Gothitelle is just like the Parish Trap Core at the moment. So, yeah. there's that. Um, other Chiyu mons forces, that just... Other mons Chiyu just forces with, kills, I guess. Chiyu, Chiyu forces kills super early with something like Iron Bundle or Fluttermane, right? Like, we already see how big those are right now. Mm -hmm. And the, the coolest thing about Iron Bundle is that it covers Chiyu's weaknesses, right? Yeah. And, like, rock, water move. Um grass Pokemon, water like water, just get annihilated water type, freeze dry yeah like yeah <laughs> uh and so like taking ko's early and then forcing something like a parish trap end game or like a nasty plot end game with or Chiyu, just don dozo which, dude like just bring in don dozo after something drops <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> you just win uh so yeah you know iron bundle you, you know iron bundle was weird because you would sometimes see like life orb iron bundle at the beginning of the format before they realized that like booster is just like optimal or even covert cloak now you just have the life orb passively and it's not yeah, like you were really. taking a dazzling gleam anyways you know like it doesn't matter if you drop your spit off on this guy he was already dropping yeah it's, um, the, it's the roaring moon thought process on Chimpo, but for yeah Iron Bundle instead. Dude, are you ready for uh sash cartana plus chiyu oh actually yeah yeah that actually sounds cool i like that <laughs> right all right uh amoongus sort of like a similar thought process you just you beat palafin because chiyu doesn't like palafin it doesn't yeah. like Alpha, no, you know. This one, I put him, I, like, I advocated for Amoongus on this, uh, especially next to Iron Bundle, is because, like, with Chiyu, if you ever get a nasty plot off, nothing lives. So, mm -hmm. redirection next to Chiyu, I could see something like Mousehold Chiyu or uh, Amoongus Chiyu taking off, because if, it, like, it doesn't matter that the redirector dies, because when you bring out something fast like Iron Bundle with Icy Wind, all of a sudden you're threatening what is already a strong icy wind next to a plus two boosted beads of ruin chi Yu that can also afford to terra type into something offensive like that's crazy amounts of damage yeah. you're outputting so Dude, this this mon's crazy uh yeah. gothitelle same thing <laughs> yeah 
also the reason why, right? Like everything I just said there with the icy wind plus two heat waves. Also, why Garganical might t uh, pick up more in usage again because wide guard's a thing. So yeah, get yeah, rid of the Garganical and, and you can have your own guard. Everything. You can have your own guard too. Get rid of the Garg check and then okay, well yeah, I'll bring in the Garg. Yeah. Send them in. <laughs> release release the rocks. All right, Meowscarada is our metagame call for this one. It's just yeah. another grass type. Uh, it hits on the physical side. It has the option to trick room, I guess. I don't know, but it's look, it's flower trick. You know, it does yeah, flower you trick. Be hitting water types. Yeah, that's really what the slot is saying. Is yeah. like, hey, physical guy that can hit water <laughs> types is nice. <laughs> Wait, yo, yo, hear me out. Hear me out. Oh, it's not cool. Right? Yeah, that's that's an option. Yeah. I mean, what do you do? Ooh, just like fake tears. Does it get that? Oh my god. Kind of crazy, Michael. We gotta stop advertising things. All right, we uh, gotta stop <laughs> breaking the format. Yeah, speak. We we did not disclose one of the things we discovered before recording this because we want to try it on our own. Uh, thank you all for watching. <laughs> thank you all for watching. The sauce is secret. This is public sauce, though. Call it the call it the crock pot sitting out in your counter. Uh, you know, Michael <laughs> smells down below. great. <laughs> yeah, dude. We got the San Marzano tomatoes. A chi you swimming in the pot? He doesn't mind. It's already hot. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. Make sure you check out Michael's Twitter and everything. Link down below. Hire him. He needs more work. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.